Hey you guys and welcome back to another reading. I hope that you guys are blessed and well. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the collective energy. I heard as we speak, and when I was saying that, I heard as we lay by Kelly Price. So that song could be significant in the that song could be significant to you. You may love that song or you may just hear it somewhere. Judgment. I'm hearing a bunch of songs in my head all of a sudden. So somebody could be trying to reach you with telepathic communication. Okay. Um, you got pride reverse and then happiness in the upright. I don't feel like somebody is your priority at all let alone your main focus okay here yeah somebody is worried about something i heard strenuous be careful of doing any strenuous activities like moving things around divine fam you know how you are y'all will get up and move the dang on bed <laughs> Y'all got these king-size beds and y'all will just move them around. Can't wait for your husband to get home. You trying to move stuff around on your own. Just be careful. Friendship in the reverse. Okay. I heard negative Nancy. Somebody is negative all the time. It's like somebody wears a bunch of crystals. And this person is always negative. It's like somebody wears a bunch of jewelry. Like spiritual jewelry. And they're so negative. It's like... Either this jewelry that somebody is wearing has bad energy on it, or this person just, this person's energy is horrible. I heard deplorable. I heard face first change. Face first. So somebody is going to get their bubble burst, tries to come for you, accept this. I feel like somebody just needs to accept the fact that they've been defeated. Something here is just not right. Shiver me timbers. Somebody is just all around a loser is what I feel. I feel like somebody is an all-star loser. Like they're, they're the highest ranking loser that there is. And it seems like somebody is also content with being this loser energy. Like this person knows they're a loser. They know they're very demonic. They know they're ungrateful. They know they're ugly as hell. They know that they're going to hell. It's like somebody knows their um lower attributes is what i want to say you dig a you like somebody knows the lower version of themselves they know and it's like they embrace the fact that they're not shit and they just do shit that people that ain't shit do it's like well i ain't nothing so i might as well embrace that <laughs> And whoever you are it's unfortunate for you because like this person is up in your business Daughter, personal healing and happiness. It's like you got to keep constantly healing from something. You got to keep healing from what this person is doing. The thinking man, man holding a heart. Somebody don't want you to have this person. This is the same person. Okay. They don't They don't want you to have anybody, let alone somebody that truly does love you. There it, again, Envy, are you serious? Like, are you serious? Something is just very low vibrational. I feel like something is going to malfunction as well. Patience in the reverse. Everything that somebody does, it backfires on them. Like, the ricochet on this backfire takes them out. Okay. Somebody also needs to be careful, like, with their firearm. You need to make sure before you uh, fire this weapon that this weapon is clean. Anxiety, the thinking woman... Man holding a coin, our angel Raphael, and then you have the temple path reversed. Like, what more is it that somebody can do to you? They just, they want to see, like somebody wants to see what's your capacity, like of how much trauma you can take. I feel like as you're releasing trauma, somebody is putting more trauma on you. As you release stress, somebody is putting more stress on you. It's simply because they're envious. It's a community of people. I've seen 444. It's, it's a lot of people doing this. It's not just one person. It's a lot of these people. Yeah, and they're being paid. This is their door to value. 
this is how somebody's being paid. I feel like it's no hard feelings. Like, personally, like, these people don't personally hate you. Look, community reverse. This whole community is going down, though. It's like, whoever got anything to do with this is going to definitely pay. Like, they're going to pay for whatever this is. Because they're very deceiving. Somebody is deceiving as hell. And you're fruitful. You're abundant. Somebody is a liar. You any gang reverse. Somebody is just jealous. I feel like somebody keeps trying to get close to you. It's like they try to get close to you through other people. It's like they, they, um, this person wants to know more about you, right? But they send people in to get to know you. You dig a rescue? Like they won't personally come. They'll send somebody else. And every time you turn down somebody that's of this demonic ass fucking energy, every time you turn this devil energy down, whether it's, um, some kind of addiction or anything, whatever this is, I don't care what this could be. Anytime you turn this energy down, this person gets so furious and they start attacking you more and in different ways. I heard peach state, peach state. Okay, so you could be in Georgia. Angel of love. Somebody here, like they, they don't recognize the fact that you're way stronger than them or something. It's like, how, how are you not? It's my name, Howard. How are you not understanding this by now? Like, this person is way stronger than you, or you're way stronger than somebody. You're way stronger than them without having to do anything. That's what I'm saying. It's like you're not even fighting. You're not attacking anybody. You're not defending yourself. You're not doing shit. It's like you're literally doing nothing. You're sitting still and letting God be God. What I said, child? God is fighting for you. Somebody doesn't realize that they're not fighting you. Archangel Uriel, as I said that, uh, Archangel pops out. Yeah, you're you're not even physically fighting somebody. You have angels that are coming to balance something. Like I said, action reverse. You're not even taking any action. You're not doing anything. I feel like you're just simply working, minding your business, taking care of yourself, or something like that. You're you're doing something that requires minding your business, and you got some people here that are just so annoyed with that it's like somebody wants to somebody has been trying to get you back from something years ago and it's taking them years to get back at you or something it's like they, they can't quite get you where they want you you dig a rescue 4144 all right as you're is protecting this woman holding the heart i mean this woman is heavily protected by archangels i heard arch nemesis What's here? Somebody is just, ugh. It's like they have literally been trying this for years and your money still balances out. It's like maybe they're trying to make you poor. Somebody wants you in the poor house. I feel like you have been homeless before. You've been in poverty before. You escaped poverty. How did you escape poverty? You're going to use that method every time. Like if this person thinks that you're just going to be flat out broke on the streets with nothing, they're fucking insane. Somebody is insane here. Like, seriously. This person, they escaped poverty. There's Archangel Michael. This person got out of poverty by themselves is what I'm saying. So, are you, like, somebody is trying, somebody is really here doing some wicked shit for you. It's like they're trying to attack every single thing in your life and you still heal from it. You're a healer. You could literally look just like this. Like, this masculine is sexy as hell or this feminine. I don't know whom you are, male or female, it doesn't matter. Financial constraints is in the reverse. Somebody just does not understand that you are not to be defeated. Like, even if you were defeated in the past, these people are not about to take you out. Like, that's just not what's going to happen. They want you, like, somebody wants you so busy focused on money or, you know, trying to find somewhere to live, trying to find a new vehicle, trying to, you know, um, get your kids together or something. Like, they're, they're, like, this person is trying to set up obstacles in your fucking life to keep you busy, to keep you away from work. But don't you work to make money? Like, this is a fucking dummy. Like, this person is so fucking dumb. So now they're trying to attack your health. They want you sick so you can't work. Somebody's attacking your children. They want your children acting a fucking fool or whatever the fuck. Like, they, they want you to have a messy house so you don't go to work or you know you you spend too much time cleaning or you spend too much time doing something this is what somebody is doing they're solely focused on you spending too much time doing something else instead of focusing on work poise but i feel like you work for yourself milk and honey reverse 
I feel like whoever you are, you work for yourself. You're not just going to abandon your fucking Fortune 500 company. You're not going to do it. You're not going to just abandon your billion dollar ideas. You're not going to quit your seven figure fucking job. You're not doing it. You're just not doing it. Time to go is in the reverse. Like you're not going anywhere to the sea. You're being guided, but you're not going anywhere. You're you're being still. I heard Ben Stiller. Whoever y'all are, it's like, bro, the, the amount of envy and hate I keep picking up in these readings is so fucking annoying. It's just like, bro, come on, man. You you are doing all of this shit not because someone did anything to you. You're jealous of them. Mending. You're simply jealous because this person is skilled. You're fucking jealous because they're gorgeous. They're handsome. By the book. You're you're jealous, bro. Like, sis, whoever the fuck you are, you're jealous. And this, some of y'all, this is a grown, big-ass man jealous of a little-ass lady. Time for a net reverse, Matt, because you're not falling into these sleep traps that they're setting. Somebody is doing sleep magic on you. They want you to sleep all day. Drag and just, you know, drag around so you can miss your blessings. I've seen 11-11 drag your feet so you can't, you know... This, this shit is dumb. Between worlds. This is somebody who goes between worlds doing dumb stuff to you. And it's like over and over again. This person is not going to stop. Because like I said, co-create. You keep co-creating. They like, well, how do I get them to permanently be poor? Um, You can't. This is the empress, the emperor. They're the emperor or the empress by blood. Like, that's who they are. They're that by... The, the, this person is um, the emperor or the empress by assignment. Like, God assigned these roles to these people. You're weird. And it's like somebody keeps on watching you. Like, they watch you in real life or they watch you online or in the spirit or something like that. And truly, all that shit really is the same thing. It's an unfinished symphony with this person. Somebody named Georgina, Edmund, or Etley, Etson. Thomas Edison is significant. <laughs> it's like you're a genius. You invent shit or something. Whoever you are, you have a leg up because of your brain power. Somebody don't have no brain power. They're jealous as hell of you, bruh. It's like, come on, shawty. Like, you are just a hater. This person has not done anything to you. You just simply don't like them. And you not liking someone, that is perfectly fine. But when you go and start trying to do physical things to ruin someone's life simply because you're jealous of them, now we got a fucking problem, bitch. You're doing all of this shit to somebody because they're happy, because they're free, and because you're fucking miserable. You're miserable, but with all this money and these fake-ass family members that you can't cut ties to, like, you are living in the Matrix and you're mad someone set themselves free. That's what this is. I am truly picking that up. Somebody is just a free soul. They're just free. God set this person free and you're jealous. So somebody feels like, oh, I'm going to get them. I'm going to teach them a lesson. I'm just going to make them poor with witchcraft. I'm just going to destroy their life with, rich, uh, with witchcraft. I can't even hardly say that shit. Richcraft. Yeah, richcraft. Somebody named Richard... Richie or something like that. Richmond, Redmond, Reddit, Redding. Witchcraft is what they're fucking doing. And now they're scared. Somebody is trembling, shaking in fear, suffering. I wonder why. I really wonder why this person is suffering like this. I really wonder why. Emotional loss. I wonder why they're crying now. It's like the same shit that this person keeps trying to put on you has stumbled upon them. It's so strange because it's like, don't y'all people know this bitch? They, oh, you thought you put some protection over that word? Girl, please. Boy, please. You thought you did something to this person and you put protection over that shit? Man, this person is going to triumph over you every time. They're stronger than you. They're stronger than your witchcraft. They're stronger than all this. Somebody named August, mental conflict. Like, you're a weak-ass bitch. Like, you're weak. You're a weak-ass hoe for this. Like, you're weak. You're weak. You're weird. And you're waiting. And that's all you're going to do is wait. You're always on the wait list, bitch. And you never get attended to. 
you the type of bitch that'll try to call a department store. Anything you call anywhere, they'll put you on hold. Hold on for a second and never come back to the phone. You're always left waiting, bitch. And that's what you're trying to make this person do. It's like somebody is trying to throw their energy onto you. And that's just not the energy that you were born in. Recognition and reward, heartache and loss. So somebody is losing their shit simply because you're being recognized. Because people still have hope in you, faith in you. This person is like, why does people still like them? I said all of that shit about them. I exposed their darkest secrets, yada, yada, fucking yada. And people still take to this person. Why? Why do people still listen to them? People are still in agreement with them. Why? Why are they not taking my side? Why are they, you know, not listening to me? Bitch, because you're a fucking liar. Truth is in the reverse. You are, you are a liar and there's no truth in you is what I heard. You're a motherfucking liar. Somebody is literally lying about... It's like they're lying about why they're even attacking you. Somebody is lying about everything. They're just a fucking liar. They can't sleep. This person ain't got no hard chakra energy, material, and financial changes. You're right. Accelerated motion. So whatever this person keeps sending to you is going right back to them. Somebody does not want you to have money. Like, they don't want you to have a dime. Somebody doesn't even want you to be able to breathe, inhale, and exhale comfortably. Like, this person wants you just in the worst predicaments that there could be. I feel like because they want your life. If you're living your life, how the fuck could they live it? And they're literally living. This bitch is mad as fuck. Somebody named Olivia. Somebody, somebody named Liv is living. Okay, towards you, third eye chakra. This bitch is a motherfucking hater. This hoe is a fraud. Or this nigga Oliver or whatever the fuck this is. Third eye chakra. It's like you see something coming intuition at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You, this person has no sex appeal or anything. This person is ugly as fuck. You're an ugly bitch. You're ugly. Inside and fucking outside. You're ugly. Your ugly ass inside has now made you ugly as fuck on the outside. And that's your destiny while you keep trying to tamper with someone else's. Prosperity begins. Somebody really needs to back the fuck up off of this feminine or this masculine. But hey, do it, um, what it is you want to do because I feel like somebody that ain't duty. Do what you want to do because you're going to do that anyway. But you're going to be shut down as well. So, I mean, whatever. I feel like this person might take pride and joy of, from being hurt and just disappointed because you got to. You got to love being hurt and disappointed because that's all you fucking do is shit to be hurt and disappointed. I just really don't understand this shit. Yeah, imprisonment. Bitches is going to jail. Niggas is going to jail. You're going to prison. That's just where you at with it. So I'm trying to make that everybody else's reality when it's not. All you do is think of this woman constantly. You think of this person all day, every day. It's like weird as shit. Like you're the only person who doesn't find something wrong with this. It's strange. Toil and labor. And then you got toil and labor here too. Somebody in this energy does not want to release a connection or something. It's like... This is this is somebody who is trying to like um, come up off your name or something or just the energy of arguing with you or something like this. This person is trying to ride your wave, but they're not going to tell you that. Child, distant horizons and then main male. This person is so far away from you. It's crazy. This person doesn't even live anywhere near you like they're nowhere near you, but they're all up in your business. Because you have sudden wealth. It's like somebody keeps trying to change this. It's not going to be changed. Bro, ever since I've been reading several, that sudden wealth card has always come out for my collective. These people are always going to be wealthy energy. Always. Like, you're not going to take that from them. It's like somebody is trying to do some shit. I heard a martyr. They're trying to do some shit to make you a sacrifice. Like, somebody wants your head on a platter or something. Yeah, unexpected income and then message. Girl, bitch, bye. Somebody really need to go sit down somewhere. Like, for real? I'm getting this energy of a lazy spell, of a sleep spell. Like, somebody wants you sleeping all day long. They don't want you active. 
it's like as soon as you get up and start moving around, the spell breaks and then they have to go and do it again. Like if you have to constantly keep doing spells over and over, maybe you should just stop. This person is way stronger than your spell work. At this point, you need to get to know your damn self because you're a fake ass bitch. You're fake. You're fake as fuck. Somebody needs to get to know who they are because it's like you constantly doing this same. This bitch does this same spell. Well, it worked at first. Maybe it did take it first, but this person has become immune to your spell work. It doesn't even hit them at all. This person's spiritual immune system is top tier, bitch. Like you are weird. Somebody is so weird. Somebody is also bad. They didn't get the message that you got married to this mature man. Or masculine, you getting married and somebody mad you didn't tell them. Um, I feel like if you told them you wouldn't be married. What I said, child. If you would have told somebody you were getting married, you wouldn't have never got married. They would have blocked you. You can't tell these motherfucking people nothing about you. Like whoever you are, you can't tell nobody shit. You have to make these changes behind the fucking scenes. And then people will just find out. And it ain't from you. What I said. They don't ever find out from you. They always find out through someone else or uh, someone else or something else. Sudden well, because they, you know, they spy on you. Some of these people ain't got no right knowing that you married, dating, having a baby or anything. You would wonder how these people know certain shit. They're spying on you. All because they're fucking jealous. Another sudden wolf card. Somebody is just a fucking hater, bro. You got sudden wolf out here three times. Divine feminine. There is some bitch that is so goddamn jealous of your children. Somebody is so fucking jealous of this child that you're about to have with this man or something, honey. Like, you have no idea, bro. Like, for real. Somebody is trying to make you a beggar or something. Because they're trying to steal your fucking life. You got a false person. And I know I just seen thief. Yeah. You got thief and false person. Both of these turned over together. So, this false person is a thief as well. They're stealing from you. They're stealing energy. They're stealing resources. Like, they're stealing shit. But I feel like that's all they know how to do. Somebody and I ain't butter. What's here? Yeah. They stealing from an official person. And here comes this child again. This could even 2422. This could have something to do with the child. Divine Feminine, this is some raggedy bitch that your baby daddy got a baby with. This bitch mad because they baby don't look shit like your baby. This bitch don't look shit like you. That's what I'm saying. You have different DNA. Like, this is so... This is dumb as fuck. Great fortune. Child. Gift. Uh, child. Divine Feminine. You about to be gifted a home, honey. Once this old wrinkled ass bitch is out the motherfucking way. Because somebody is not expecting something. These people keep stealing houses from motherfuckers. Stealing shit. Okay. And then when you got to answer for it, please do not be shocked. Like, why do these people get so shocked and appalled? I don't ever understand it. I just never do. Hold on, y'all. I wasn't going to use any tarot, but I guess I can... Something is just so damn sad about somebody got some sad ass damn energy, honey. Like, girl, it cannot ever be that serious. I thought you were better than this feminine. I thought you were better than them. Like, constantly comparing yourself to this person is not, that doesn't mean that you actually are better than this person. And my thing is, who's sitting up here comparing? Like, this, somebody is just delusional. Or this is you. You're just truly delusional in this energy. Uh, somebody that ain't fat. Oh, man. Let's see what's in this dick. It's like somebody don't even know what's coming for them. They don't have any idea what's coming, but they still up here studying you. 
somebody studies you very often. Because you know what you want to know why they're studying you? They're studying you because they're trying to defeat you using your own energy. They're trying to use you against yourself. That's what this person is doing. And all of this is because they're a jealous ass bitch. Period. Ace of Cups. They're jealous about your love life. Jealous about your family unit. Somebody is just a pure fucking hater, bro. Like, seriously. Like, you're a motherfucking hater. A fraud. Three of Cups. Like, this person will work with anybody to come up against you. Anyone. Any damn body. Preferably your enemies. Like... Whoever this person is, like, they, they would love to get in contact with known enemies of yours. It could be a cancer. It's like the wheels are rolling. Time is ticking. Like, this person doesn't understand that. Somebody in this energy doesn't understand three of swords reverse that you've already maneuvered. Like, you've maneuvered through betrayal so they're still here trying to cause ruckus in your life chaos with magic i'm telling you emperor magician with the fool card they they this person right here wants you to take blank leaps of faith like you know what i'm gonna just trust this i'm gonna just you know leave everything behind and then go somewhere and then you're completely fucked child don't be leaving anything that you built like come on bro you're you're sitting up here building something yeah seven of pentacles reverse they like stop investing in being a star you're not a star you're not truly a star i'm the star i have to become you that's not what you're supposed to be doing go another way go do something else this seems fun, and this is the type of bitch or a nigga that'll try to encourage you to do something completely different. Why don't you start selling, like, t-shirts? Why don't you do that? That seems fun. Why don't you stop doing what you're doing and sell t-shirts? Like, bitch, you go do it then. But see, the thing of it is, whoever you are, you can do what you're doing and sell t-shirts. You dig a rich cute? Like, you can, you can do whatever the fuck you want. This person can't. They only know how to copy. Page of Swords. They only know how to stalk, study, and copy people. And then try to get rid of them. Eight of Wands. <laughs> bitch, bye. This bitch made my damn head itch. Whoever this person is, it seems like it's a feminine energy. The Devil, Capricorn, the Ten of Swords coming in to betray you again. Okay. Is that your business at five? What's your broke ass? You gonna buy it for me? You gonna buy it? I don't think so. The high priestess. The devil knows who this high priestess is and what they're here to do. I don't even feel like the high priestess knows what she's here to actually do. I feel like this person is just enjoying the journey. This person, it's a complete and utter Shock is what I heard when this woman finds out what she's truly here to do. This woman has no set goal or expectation. She's just work. She's just living her fucking life. Or this man is just living their life. That's just what they're doing. Ten of Cups. This woman has no idea the great things that God has for her. This man doesn't even know. They're not even trying to find out. Like, this person could be a tarot reader. This person doesn't go reading their own energy. Like, they don't go looking into their future. They don't do any of that. This person does not go and do any of that. That's why God has not left them out in the cold. And like I said, this person is not about to be homeless, broke, or anything like that. It's like somebody is so confused. I, I, I put the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords on them. How come they're still standing? Bitch, the real question is, when this shit come back on you, will you still be standing? That's the real motherfucking T, the U and the V. The real T is, bitch, 
When this happens to you, because it will. The same thing you put on someone else, you will endure that for yourself firsthand. You dig a ring skew? Fuck how this person is still standing. The real question is, when this ten of, uh, ten of Wands, Ten of Swords is placed on your raggedy ass, will you still be standing? That's the real question. And I'm telling you, no, you're not. You're not going to make it through a motherfucking day. You ain't going to make it through an hour of the shit that you put this person through. You ain't going to make it, bitch. Like I felt Five of Cups. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You're going to be in a permanent place of rest. You're a weak bitch. Only weak hoes and niggas like you do shit like this to other people that are strong, actually. And you do it in the background and you do shit out of nowhere. That left field, out of nowhere kind of energy. You try to watch this person's energy to see when they're happy, when they're at their highest peak. And then you go in and chop them down with the witchcraft, though. All of this is about to circulate and come to you. And I promise you, bitch, you're not going to make it. Whoever this Virgo is you've been attacking or Virgo, this is you attacking somebody. And that's the fucking truth or rule. Bitch, you will experience every single day, night, hour, minute, second of the shit that you put on someone else. Mark my words with a permanent marker, ho. Sharpie. Mark my words. And you're too weak. Like I said, you're a weak, ho. You're a weak. You're not going to make it. Yeah, the four wands reversed. All of this shit to block someone from getting married. All of this shit you're doing is to block someone from getting married because you're jealous of them. You're envious of how this person looks. You're envious of their skills. You're envious that you can't get them wrapped up in their own mind and have them give up on something or something like that. You're a weirdo. Just a jealous ass slower is what you are. Cancer energy, the moon reverse. Yeah, the two of cups reverse. This bitch gonna lose her significant other first. That's gonna be an indication that this whole life is just going to shit. While she keeps trying to block you and your um four of wands, ten of cups. This person better be fucking ready to be blocked. Because everything they did to you is going to come back full circle. I promise you that. Every single thing that you did to this Virgo, it's going to come back to you. Or every single thing this Virgo did to you, it's going to come back to them. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. This person does everything with magic. When I tell you this person does so much magic, bro, that shit is actually weird. It's like super weird how much magic this person does. And it's like, they still can't defeat you. Like, have you completely broken, bitter, miserable? That's what they want, but you're not. I feel like you're cloaked. You don't show any fucking emotion. <laughs> they, so this person doesn't know how you feel. They don't know what's truly going on because you're cloaked. Like, you cloaked your energy. Your energy's cloaked, so this person thinks that they're winning. Because they don't know what you're doing like they don't know how you're feeling your clothes but see this is a cloak of protection i feel this person cloaks themselves just to not be seen by you they're that much of a fucking coward because they don't have a reason to be attacking you that's what i'm saying a person who attack you purposely and um they want you to know it's them they don't, they don't got no problem telling you or showing you that it's them a pussy a punk a coward ass motherfucker a weak ass bitch or a nigga who is attacking you out of envy fear and shit like that they're gonna always hide this is not the art of fucking war this is the art of an envious floor this is the art of an envious nigga that's what this is you're not justified. I don't see the justice card anywhere. And if justice were to rain, it'll rain in this person's favor. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. You still waving this wand. You're still doing stupid shit. And this person is still going to get good news. They're not going to be left hanging. They're still getting this relationship. You're weird. Or they're still going to stay married to their person or something. Yeah, this Queen of Wands is nothing to fuck with. I don't I don't know why you keep trying to sneak over in this woman's energy. 
Yeah, because you're a fucking bum. You're a bum ass nigga. You're the king of wands fucking reverse, bitch. You just, you're not this person's match with your tacky ass. Divine Femme, this tacky ass, tactless ass fucking man. This tasteless ass buffoon is mad because you don't want to go out on a date because you're not texting them back because you won't answer their fucking calls. This nigga is attacking you because of that. You're not fucking interested. Just imagine if you were actually interested in someone like this. What would they do? Imagine you actually making them mad. What would they do? Man, get the fuck up out of here with this. This is what I be talking about, shawty. You can't be trusted either way it go. You doing all of this shit for someone you don't even know. You doing all of this because somebody is ignoring you. They're not ignoring you. They're not paying you any attention at all. They don't even know you or something. Or you have no right in this person's energy at all. Like, whoever this is or whoever you are. Like, you don't have no right anywhere near this person. Because they're not aware of it. So, if you're just lurking around their energy, you're an imposter. You're an intruder. They didn't give you access. They didn't give you consent, permission. They didn't give that to you. And you don't respect this person's boundaries. The boundaries of, bitch, I'm single. I can do what I want. Or I got a man. I got a girl. Like, you don't respect that or something. You sitting up here trying to take somebody girl from them. You trying to take their man. You want somebody to cheat on their person with you. What you think they going to do with your dumb ass? They going to cheat on you too. Or nah, you going to stop them. You going to lock them away in a home or something, ain't you? You going to do everything in your power to make sure this person don't go anywhere with anyone else. You going to do witchcraft on them so that they only see you. Divine Feminine, this is a very dangerous type of energy. Sipping, tea, gossip, rumors, nosy. Yeah, time. Somebody could love watches. I heard G-Shot. Like, somebody has a whole G-Shot collection. Like, from the cheapest watch to the most expensive one. They love G-Shot. Or this person created them or something. It's something about a bunch of G-Shot watches or something. Or this person may just collect them or something. I don't know. Two-Faced. Cheryl, please. Double life cheater backstabber. Like this, this person right here will do you so goddamn dirty if you were in a relationship with them. Look at what they're doing to you outside of a relationship. Legal reverse. Somebody is also mad because they can't take you to court and sue you. Sue you for fucking what? They're the ones stealing from you. What are they going to sue you for? Somebody really wants you in some kind of upheaval. Like they want you to have nothing but disaster in your damn life. And that's just not what's going on though. Somebody named Doughboy. What's here? Epiphany. Mm-hmm. Margaret. Amos, A-M-O-S, famous Amos cookies are significant. Child, please, with this. Somebody is just, uh. And it's like, why do you got to deal with this? It's like, you can't win for fucking losing here. Because it's like, this person will not stop attacking you. Simply because you exist. Like, simply because you are who you are, you keep on being great. You keep on creating new things or something like that. And it's like, they can't stop that. They saucy as fuck. They can't stop it. That's what that is. They're trying to stop something. They can't. They cannot destroy what God has created. And go to hell for trying, bitch. This person is smelling the roses and healing, honey. Maybe they going out. Maybe they ain't. That ain't your fucking business. It's like this person, they don't want you to go anywhere, right? And if you do go anywhere, something just horrible happens. Somebody has done some witchcraft like that. Like, if you ever go on a date with anybody today, 
You might be going out today or something. Just always plead the blood of Jesus over yourself, your children, your vehicle, your home, every day, everywhere you go, everyone you encounter. Plead the blood of Jesus over yourself, honey. Because this person right here has some type of witchcraft set up to where any man that you date, any woman that you date is going to end abruptly or, you know, um, you're just going to always be stuck dreaming about how life could be or how life used to be or something like that. That's like if somebody has truly moved on with their life, if they're truly happy, they would not feel the need to attack you. This person is not happy. This person is miserable as fuck. That's all they do is attack you. It's weird. It seems like somebody is in a situation that they can't. Thank you, dad. Because I'm just like, what? They're trapped. But see, this whoever this masculine energy is, they're trapped. Not you. So like I said, they cloak. They cloak. They mask themselves to attack you. This motherfucker is trapped. You're not. I felt that though. This person feels stuck. Okay. Like, whose fault is that? You feel stuck, motherfucker. This person don't. Somebody keeps trying to make you feel like you're a toxic individual. That's why nobody wants to be with you or something. Child, people do want to be with you. I bet you money, if this person ever stopped doing this goddamn magic, you would have emperors fucking falling out from left to right. <laughs> there will be empresses from left to fucking right. Okay, here... If they will stop doing their fucking witchcraft, that's why they won't stop doing it. That's why this person won't stop doing it, although they're exhausted. They're trying to completely ruin you. Now they're about to get the consequences of their actions, which is whatever my dad see fit. You dig a rescue for real? Like, this person is a loser. This is not a keeper. This is a fucking loser. It's like, well, you ain't going to find nobody better than me. Bitch, please. Anybody is better than you. Anybody is better than this person. Archangel Michael. They keep on failing to realize that you are protected. Family. They keep failing to realize that your family unit, your legacy is protected. They keep failing to realize this. Now somebody is feeling hopeless because you still got possibilities and you're not antisocial. That's what they wanted. You to just stay in your house and stay stuck. Not get to know people, not go out, not do anything, but you're glowing up. Somebody literally, somebody here is literally doing witchcraft on you to isolate you and you're not. They want you all to yourself. They, whoever this is, they don't care if you got children. They don't care if you got a husband, a wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, baby mom, baby. It doesn't matter. They want everyone stripped away from you. Everyone. All because they're jealous of how you look. They're jealous of who you are and that you're very skilled. Somebody is a fucking hater. And like I said, they're masked, they're close. This person got their head down feeling hopeless, wishful fucking thinking. But you guys are not soulmates. There's nothing here that is just. Uh -uh. No, Shouty. Hell no. Oh, hell no, Ig. No, this is not it. my name Josiah or Nehemiah or some shit Vivian Dexter Cheyenne Charmaine Chantrice <clears throat> or Santrice or something like that bugaboo in the reverse they can't get under your skin like flesh what I said child Somebody trying to get under your skin. They can't. They're not truly irritating you like they think they are or something. Like somebody really believes that they're wicked, diabolical plots and schemes. And whatever this is, is about to take you down. And it's not keeping a promise. Get yeah, caught up. It's like this person vowed to attack you. They vowed to take you down. And they're being caught up in a process. So... This is one of them people that always break their promises. Bitch, you can promise to take me down, but you can't promise to take your kids to get ice cream and actually go do it. But you will go and try to fulfill a mission to ruin my life. Bitch, please. Y'all people can't be taken serious at the fuck off. 
You don't need to check your fucking self. This person needs to check themselves. You're not in the wrong. Whoever you are, I don't feel like you're in the wrong. 44, 44. You're not in the wrong at all. Yeah, this is an envious ass floor. Every fucking deck in these came out. Are you serious? Depression and kick to the curb. So now somebody is feeling like they got played. They feel like they got played in the situation here. They're depressed, feeling kicked to the curb. Something is abnormal. I heard concubine destroyed. Child, look, they're destroyed doing fucking drugs. Fuck. This person does a lot of shit. I feel like that's on them. Let them heal from that. They don't have anything to do with you. Okay, here. Anger management. Somebody might literally get court appointed anger management. Like, this person really needs to go and see someone. There's a pattern of this person being very angry. They're trying to keep you a secret. Somebody wants you hidden. Like, yeah, don't watch that person. But it's like they're using witchcraft, bro. I'm telling you, this is a copycat. They're using witchcraft to destroy your life. It ain't nothing happening. Or they're not able to get you how they want. Like, somebody wants you to lose all confidence in your work. You're not. You're too skilled. Yeah, promiscuous. Like, somebody wants you to be too busy fucking people or whatever. But you're not trash. Like... This is not your energy. This is a Jezebel spirit trying to latch onto you or maybe onto someone around you or this person is trying to make you appear to be a promiscuous energy. I don't feel like you are, though. I literally feel like you're celibate. What's here? Doing drugs, getting a room, setting the record straight, reverse, and then betrayal. So this is somebody, like I said, they're a motherfucking coward. They're not going to, like, come on, man. This person ain't going to come tell you that they're doing something to you. Let alone tell you that they're doing it because they're um, just envious of you. Somebody is a sore loser, period. It's like they're always losing some shit. Or this is you, you're always losing outdated you're old as fuck you're a has been or some shit i heard or was never <laughs> you want never shit is what i'm saying this person wasn't never a star or anything like you they're just not ever like this person has never been anything other than what they are now which is a nobody yeah this hater is getting destroyed they're playing themselves that's why you keep your relationship private. And I don't blame you, boo. I don't blame you for keeping your relationship private. Because look at these fucking... I heard stocking stuffers. <laughs> look at these stocking stuffers and the shit that they're fucking doing. I don't blame you, baby. Bad choices. Somebody could literally be trying to curse your Christmas. Like somebody wants you flat broke. They don't want you to be able to afford things for your children for Christmas or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's just talk about how you're still a, co a copycat hoe. You're a copycat bitch. All you do is copy. You steal. You're a copycat. You don't have an original personality. You're not even a real person, bitch. You're a copycat. You're a fucking bot. You walk around this bitch a bot. You're not a real person. Look at bitches pinching they self. There's some hoes in here doing like this. Am I? Do I really feel that? <laughs> Y'all hoes are some skin walkers, bitch. Fucking weirdos. You need to go be of another weirdo. That's what you need to be with another weirdo, just like you. You don't need no sane, God-fearing man or a woman in your life, you need another weirdo who is just as weird as your ass. Like, why the fuck do y'all weird bitches and niggas try to come for the people that are pure and sane? You try to come for those type of people. It's just like gay people try to force, they only date straight men kind of energy. 
try to date straight men to turn them gay and shit like that. This is the kind of shit that I'm picking up on. Yeah, distance. Another distance card. This is someone who is far, far away. Shrek energy. They're far away from you. You have no idea who this person is or you have no idea that this person is attacking you. I heard still. They're still attacking you. Yeah, it's someone else doing this. They're spying. Somebody is a spy. Like, they're a professional spy. And I say professional because they've worked at this so much by stalking you from a distance. Somebody could have a job in IT or something like that. Like, somebody is a professional stalker. Like, they know how to stalk you without leaving a trace. Also, spiritually. This person knows how to spiritually stalk you without leaving a trace that they were ever in your energy. That's who this person is that you're dealing with. You're dealing with someone who does nothing but sit around and meditate all day long. Who, who astral projects and travels all day. That's all they do. I feel like somebody started like this as a child. Like, um... I got a... You know what? I got a treat for y'all. I'm going to do another reading right after this one. And we're going to get into some things in that reading. Because I, I really am getting sick and tired of this person. I have never done this. But I'm going to. Remember that God loves you and so do I, you guys. Just uh definitely stay tuned for this next reading that I'm going to post after this one. Because this is going to be very juicy. I can already tell. Remember that God loves you and so do I. Bye.